One very fundamental concept to understand in Git is the concept of a repository. You've probably heard about this before, but what exactly is a repository? And that's what I'm going to be explaining in this lesson. A simple definition of a repository is a Git project. So how do you transform a normal project to a repository? Well, let's say I have this project here. I have this image here, which is the current cover for this course. I have this file here, which is empty. This other file, this file, this file, this file, and this file. These are all just random files, but you can imagine this to be a project for the software you're working on or for your portfolio or for anything. But this is just a normal project which means it doesn't have any history. So if I should delete this file, for example, and this will go to my trash bin, if I delete it from my trash bin, I won't be able to recover this file anymore. Or if maybe in this current file, I delete all of this, and then I go on with my day, and then maybe days later, I want to retrieve what I deleted, that will be very difficult unless I remember exactly what I deleted. So currently, this project doesn't have any history. And as we have gotten to understand so far in this course, Git allows you to navigate the history of a project. So again, how can I convert this to a Git project? This is where you use the init command. So I'm going to open my terminal here. This is a terminal in my VS Code editor. You're probably using VS Code or you're using another code editor, which is fine. And you're probably using a different terminal, which is fine. But I'll be using the terminal in VS Code for the rest of this course. I use the shortcuts to open this terminal. But without a shortcut, I can open the command dialog and I can type terminal. You can come here and create new terminal. By the way, before you proceed with this course, there are some basic things you need to understand about terminals and the kind of commands you can run in terminals. If you know that already, you can proceed with this lesson. But if you don't know that already, I'm going to leave a link to a resource in the video description that you can check out to get yourself familiar with terminals. Okay, so I have my terminal here and my terminal is currently in the git course directory, which is the name of this directory. But if you open your terminal by default, it may not be in this directory. So I'm just going to go back. Now, if I come to my folder structure here, you can see in the desktop, I have a directory called GitHub. Then I have this Git course project, which is the project currently open on my code editor. Now I have to navigate on the terminal to this directory. This is where you can use the CD command. So here you can use CD, which is change directory. And this directory is currently located in users, Dillion, desktop, GitHub, Git course. So if you come back here, you can see users, Dillion, desktop, GitHub, Git course. Depending on where your project is located, you can enter the correct part here. Okay, now that I have this here, I can clear my terminal so it's fresh. How do I convert my current project to a Git project? Like I said, you can use the init command. So you have Git, which is already installed on your device, as we saw in the previous lesson, and then you have init. And as you can see here, initialized empty Git repository in this directory. So what you have basically done here now is transformed your normal project to a Git project. And this makes it possible for you to now track the history of your project. There's also a new directory that is installed here, which is the .git directory, which is the repository itself. And you can think of this directory as a database that Git uses to keep track of all the changes in your project. And there are a couple of things in this directory that don't make so much sense. You have hooks. We're going to look at hooks later on in this course. You have this directory, this directory. You have this directory, which has this. Uh, there are a couple of things. You also have the config. We'll look at git config soon. And because this is the first time we're initializing git, you can see that we don't have a lot of things here. But if I go to the repository for my website, decode.com, this is the project here. If I go to this .git, you can see this has even more things. If I go to objects, there are a bunch of objects here. Go to revs, a couple of revs here. There are a couple of things here. So I'm back to this git course project. And the more your project grows or the history of your project grows, then this .git directory can become larger. Later on in this course, we're going to go through some of these files in this git directory to see exactly what these files mean. So when you're working with the git command in a directory, the git command is going to make use of this repository, this sort of database to know what has changed in your project, what the history of your project is, and all those bunch of things. So if I try to run git status, git status is a command that shows the status of your project. 
mostly the status of the files in your project there are a couple of things here don't worry about them if they don't make sense now you see no commits yet on tracked files and here we have all the files and directories that are currently on tracked now if i should do cd and let's say i go to users dillion megida desktop now let's say i come to this directory here this directory is not a git project so if i should try to run git status now it's going to tell you not a git repository or any of the parent directories so the git command like i mentioned it looks for this git directory in the current directory or in any of the parent directories and then it can use that directory to show results for the commands that you enter so now if i go back to my git course I can now run git status and because there is this git directory it can now show me the status of my project this also means that if you should delete this git directory then you have basically deleted the history of your project so you will no longer be able to navigate the previous versions or changes or files deleted in your project a git project is a project that has this git directory which is that database that keeps track of all the changes that happens in your project now that this is a git project if you should make changes to this file and you save your changes or this file or you delete this or you change this image or you add a new image as your project changes and you are saving these different versions of your project later on in the future you'll be able to navigate back to these versions now when we go back to git status there are some things you'd see here you see on branch main you see no commits yet you see on tracked files git add file there are a couple of things here now what do all these things mean well that's what we're going to be looking at in the next lessons